everyone today we will learn how to create a exploded view in katia and how to place this view in drafting so basically we use this exploded view uh, to see the five positions in the assembly so now we will again open that previous bench voice assembly that we have created in the first two previous tutorial so just i will call this bench voice product this manipulation in this manipulation toolbar there is one option also there is a explode view but this is this explode is for a temporary purpose you can explode this view from here so just you need to select a product so and then select the fixed product here and then apply so this is a temporary and if you update this model then all this position restore okay so if you want to create a explode view and if you want to place it in a drafting then you need to use the theme toolbar so theme toolbar so from this enhance theme option i will give a name that is exploded view and then overload mode you can select i will go with a partial mode and in this uh, another workbench is get open so this is a enhancing workbench here okay so now again here one of one toolbar is there that is enhancing so we have one option here explore option then view point option we are seeing this option here so with this explode so this is the ex automatic explode we have already seen that in the move tool bar so here you need to select the product and then you to select the fixed product and then here are another type here that is a 3d you can explode in a 2d view and you can explode with the constraint so in constraint it is going to ex going to explode it so and again but we cannot save this explode view and we cannot bring this to the drafting so if you exit the workbench then it will again regain its original position and we cannot use this view in the drafting so again go to the enhancing i will use automatic renaming again there are one type is a 3d just select this point and then it will explode this in the 3d view so but we cannot save this in a we as well as we cannot bring this in a so to create a explode view and to call it in the drafting we need to go to the c sorry in a i go with the partial okay 
and now we will make use of now we have to make use of this compass here to explore this view so just click on this right dot and place this on the part which you want to make a fixed part so which you want to keep as it is so just i will place it on this fixed body i will just select this and select on this thing in this thing okay so now select a part you want to explore so just i first select this part you can select from this graphic window or you can select from this uh, tree also and then move this in the direction you want to explore so this can so this will move with the constraint here and then click on this window so now select another part so let's say i i want to move this base plate here so i want to move this base plate down downward so just select this direction and then keep where you want to keep that plate okay similarly select a voice job and select a direction in which you want to explore this voice job and then again click on the graphic screen to restore the position of this compass just select this again select this point and then drag on this axis system so that this compass will restore to their original position so in this way you can create a explorer view with this now to save this explorer view just select this save view point so this scene is captured and then you can see that in the application toolbar so in application there is a scene is created in this now again go exit the workbench so in the tree these scenes are added here so now we will see so in this way you can create a explorer view in this model okay now we will see the drafting how to play this view just go to the mechanical design and drafting okay again select the kit specification a3 or a2 you can select as per your specification I am selecting here the implicit. I only want to show you the explorer view. So, to play this explorer view, just select a view from this, and then select the isometric view. Again, grab this window here. Go to the product, and then go to the application from the tree, and then select the thing which you want to place in a drafting so just i will add this in thing just click on this thing and then click on this product so the explorer view which is called in this drafting in this thing and just click on this drafting window so if you want to change the scale of it then you can just right click on this go to the properties and change the scale again if you want to change the angle here you can also change the angle from here also so let's say it is 45 degree so in this way the views are created so let's say i mean minus 45 then you can create a exploded view keep it keep it as it is one by one if you want to change the sheet size then you can 
rising on the sheep and go to the properties and then you can select sheep whatever you want so in this way you can create a explorer view Please subscribe my channel and like my videos. If you have any query, comment below. I will definitely try to solve each of them. So thank you, thank you for watching.